crazy, but I kind of feel like I can see the slightest line. take a pregnancy test today is either seven or eight dp i wouldn't say it's eight dpo or it would be nine dpo and the reason why i say today is eight dpo is because i got my i count two days past when i get my peak so i don't count like the day that i get my lh surge as ovulation i count like 36 hours from that so i had got my peak ovulation so two days from that date is when i started counting so that would be today would make a dpo i was not going to test today it's just that i had seen a video on youtube and that was kind of like in my recommendations and it just kind of like prompted me to test because she ended up getting like a positive pregnancy test on a dpo so i was like you know what let's just go for it right and I got like these Amazon cheapies as well as this, but I ain't gonna use this until like, like later, later. I'm gonna just dip the uh, Amazon even at home cheapie. And then I also have Pregnate pregnancy test. So I'm gonna take one Pregnate and one easy at home. It is cycle six, the cycle that me and my husband was supposed to take a break, but we both agreed to just keep it moving. He just had to make sure I was okay mentally and I told him I was good. So once he realized that I really was good, he was like, okay, let's just go ahead. So we talked about it. I had got a transvaginal ultrasound done that confirmed that I actually did ovulate this cycle. So because of that and the fact that I am good, I'm about to dip the sticks together. He thinks that it's a great idea to just do it. And so, I'm going to have this waiting, and I'll be back in about five minutes or so, and we'll read the results. Pop quiz. When did we start trying to conceive? Because you know, I know of recent when we start trying, but that was the first thing that had done dropped on me was September, and I'm like, I ain't gonna say that. I don't. And sure enough, I said that's what it is. I should just listen, being hard hearted. <laughs> hard hearted. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay, so if that's the case, what cycle number is this that we're currently on? Should be six. Ding, 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 ding. So which cycle did we find that we was pregnant? Ding, 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 ding. You will be correct. We've been back on it since September of 2021, every single month consecutively. We were supposed to take a break this month, but child, please. <laughs> we kept going. Cause Bay was like, what you was like, Bay? Why we kept going? Also, the doctor was like, nah, you ain't got to wait. And at that point, just like they say, don't wait till the battle is over. Fight now. <laughs> Glory! You know, in the end, you're going to win. <laughs> you better sing that song. <laughs> I'm great with you. I know that's right. Good job, babe. Good job. All right, guys, I'm back, and I think it's time. So, we just want to look. We're not doing all the, oh, let me peek. Let me see if I see anything. No, we just want to look. So, right now, currently, both of these tests 
are a negative. I need to know. Let me turn this light off because I know what the flash on you probably can't see because it's going to do the. I don't know if like it's going. There you go. Negative. And the other one. Negative. No faint lines at all. So we'll wait two days and we'll test again. Today is March 15th. DPO 9. And I'm about to take a pregnancy test. On my last cycle, when I felt pregnant, I got a faint line at DPO 9. So, we're going to see if anything comes up. Hopefully, nothing comes up yet. Hopefully, it comes up like 11 DP or something like that a little later. Instead of so early. I don't know. I just feel like <laughs> if it comes up early, it'll get it. Like, I'll be feeling like, you know, how the last cycle was. So, of course, I want to be pregnant, but I just want it to show up later. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be testing every day like that. When you're ready and you're eager, you're gonna pretty much test early. Most women test early, trust me. And these are the results. So like I said, it's DPO9, big fat negative. Big fat negative. <laughs> and we'll keep testing every day until Aunt Flo comes, you know? Today is DPO 10, March 16th. So it's 7.26, so I'll look at the results at 7.31. It's so weird because, I mean, even last cycle, I didn't feel pregnant or anything, like I didn't have any symptoms and feel anything but I don't know I just had like this feeling that I probably will be pregnant I don't know it's it's difficult it's it's hard I think the reason why I'm having these thoughts is because last cycle I got a positive test on 9 DPO it's 10 DPO and it's still negative so it's just like if I was pregnant maybe I would have seen the fake line or maybe I seen that fake line so early because I was going to miscarry, you know, you know, so it's different thoughts in my head, but I won't know until I got to keep waiting to see if I'm focused, but I'll come and show you guys the results. And it's a BFP. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I mean, <laughs> we wanted to be a BFP. It's a BFN, a big fat negative. Not even the faintest of line is on there. Start white. <sighs> good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So today is March 16th. And it's, no, actually, sorry. Today is March 17th, Thursday, March 17th. It's DPO 11, and it's cycle day 32. Aunt Flo is due tomorrow which would be cycle day 33 because my cycle comes every 32 to 33 days somewhere up in there sometimes as late as 35 but the last like i know six cycles it's been like 32 33 so technically i could say aunt flo's supposed to come today or it could be tomorrow but i'm gonna just say like aunt flo's supposed to come sometime today and tomorrow put it that way today um there's like nothing when i wait Usually when Aunt Flo comes on, she comes on at nighttime. Like, every time. Every time she comes on, it's always, like, I find that she coming on, like, when I'm clocking out for work or something, like, later in the evening. So, if she is going to come on, she probably ain't going to come on until at night or overnight. I do not spot before my period, but, you know, with miscarriage here, I spot it. But that was the miscarriage. But before that, I don't spot my, she just comes on, like, so... I'm not sure if anything would come up now. 
um, yesterday. Um, and it's start negative. Just get it over with. Start negative on this one. Hopefully y'all can see that. But yeah, no second line. No fake line. Anything like that. It be getting you when you be trying to take these tests early in the morning. But what I was going to say. Yesterday, I was watching Netflix with my husband. And I started to feel like mal, like, just like a mal pressure twitches or pricks or whatever you want to call it. Just mildly under my stomach on the right side. And then it started going to, like, the left side. So it was just kind of, like, under the stomach. I was feeling, like, a little bit of, like, pricking, twitching type feeling. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much all I've been feeling. Good morning. So today is DPO 12, March the 18th, today, and it's cycle day 33. Flo did not come on yesterday, and she didn't come on in the middle of the night last night. So I got the whole day to try to see if she's going to come on, um, to see if she come on sometime today or in the middle of the night tonight, because um, my cycle comes on like 32, 33, um, rarely 34 and 35. I just took a test this morning and I'm gonna look at it. I honestly feel like I kinda <laughs> like I wanna have my eyes because I'm not trying to have my eyes. Like I mean it's too early in the morning for this. I'm not even finna try to do the line eye crap. But I honestly feel like I could see like the slightest line out until upflow comes. But I really can't see anything. I I really need to stop saying I think I see something because I honestly don't. I don't see nothing, but I'm going to look at, I'm going to show you guys this one. Y'all probably can't even see the slightest of crap. Yeah, completely stark negative. So, if I am pregnant, I probably ain't going to be able to find out until, like, if Unt Flo don't come, I don't think I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to find out until, like, three days from now. So, I'm done testing for now. I'm going to test again in um, two days. Ah, help! I'm dying! Don't worry, you've just had a visit from Aunt Flo. Aunt Flo? Huh? Thanks for letting me out. Yup, yup, yup. Girl, she came in the middle of the night. <laughs> like I expected, I'm not going to lie. I did feel like she was going to come, but I just really was hoping that she would just cut me some slack you know what i'm saying and just not do me like that like, <laughs> she still did me like that so i mean on the cycle seven <laughs> okay <laughs> but anyways guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and hit the post notification bell so that you won't miss any of my uploads okay all right, guys, I love y'all, okay? We still gonna do what we need to do to get this baby. Hurry. <laughs> All right, love y'all, bye.